Hi cruising friends, I'm Jenners and I'm back with the top 10 items that you probably didn't think of when you're going on a cruise. So I've been on a lot of cruises, about 18 cruises in the past 7 years, so I definitely have some items that, you know, along the way I've said, hey, maybe this would be good to bring with me on a cruise. And I also have a cruise room, which is actually where I am right now where I'm filming this, but um, it's kind of just a spare room that I store a lot of the items that I take on my cruise since a lot of them I don't necessarily use in my daily life. They're just for cruising. So um, if you missed that video, I'll link it below on how I organized everything uh, for my cruises. But I did pull some of those items out today that I thought, hey, you know, I bet a lot of people probably haven't thought of this. And so I do have to uh, my top 10 things that you probably didn't think of. So as we get into the video, probably the last couple ones are, are going to be a little weird and probably things that uh, you probably really didn't think of and you may not need, but it just depends on what you're doing on your cruise. Um, and if you do like to cruise, uh, if you're planning a cruise or you just like to watch cruise content, please make sure you give uh, my videos a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. But also if you could subscribe and ring the bell, I will have a lot of cruise content. I'm making a lot of videos uh, very similar to this one. I just did one on the top 10 things I always make sure I have on a cruise. And I will be going on the Navigator of the Seas and the Oasis of the Seas before the end of the year where I will be making some vlogs. Um, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So um, not really in any particular order, but just some things that um, we'll start with here. Um, there's a company called Bandabo, and I'll link their website uh, down below, but they make these really beautiful towels, and what I love about these towels is that they're extra, extra long, and so I hate when you're on a lounger at the pool or in port, and your towel just doesn't cover the whole thing. I mean, I'm only five foot tall, but, you know, your towel just never really covers it, and your feet are kind of hanging off the end, so um, these towels, I mean, they're very soft, they're very bright, very colorful, so you might say, well, Jenners, why do I need to bring a towel with me on the cruise ship? Well, you really don't. The, the ships do provide towels. Uh, some cruise lines, it's in your room. Some cruise lines, like, say, Royal Caribbean, you, you go up on the pool deck, you show your ship card, and they, they give you a towel that then you return once you're done. So most people are going to do that. They're going to take the towel from the ship. They'll take it to the pool, or they will take it off on an excursion and then return it. However... Um, if I have room in my suitcase, I don't always bring this, but I just really love um, how colorful it is. Um, it's great when you're taking pictures, and so um, it is a really great towel. I'm going to stand up here and see if, if I can show you how long it is. Hold it up here for you. Well, you really can't see how long it is, but it, it is... I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm five foot, and it's a lot taller than I am, so take my word for it. Um, but this uh, this company also has um, other items, like these all match that I uh, purchased, but this is just to keep, say, your wet bathing suit in, or just, you know, whatever items. You could probably even, you know, use it as like a, a clutch or something, but um, I think that's really nice and pretty. And then another really cool thing they have here are called towel tamers, and um, this is really neat because, you know... Most people talk about these um, clips that you clamp onto the chair and it holds your towel in place. I def definitely recommend, um, if anything, bring something like that because when you're out on the cruise deck, um, things are flying away, trust me. So something like that is definitely good to have. But these are, um, again, they match. They have so many different colors. They're so pretty. But this just goes around your chair or your lounger. And it even has a little pocket if you wanted to, say, maybe put, like, some lip gloss or some, you know, cash if you want to do that. Whatever in there. So, and then it just kind of folds up. It's very easy to travel with. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything by um, Bandabo, but I actually did find them through Cruise Tips TV. And at one point they did have, um, like, a special code that I used to kind of get a discount. Because they, they are, I mean, for towels and things, they are pretty expensive. Um, but because I did get a discount, it, it worked for me. And I do typically bring just one towel, um, you know, with me. My husband doesn't need one, so... <laughs> So I do bring uh, the one towel. But another thing that um, you do have to kind of think about, and you, you don't always think about it when you're traveling, is bring some kind of rain gear, especially if you're cruising during hurricane season. But a lot of things people don't always realize is that even um, any time of the year, I think the the tropics can be pretty uh, rainy. Um, a lot of times when I've been to Nassau, it will rain just for a short part of the day, um, but it can rain pretty hard. And there was one time we were actually getting off the cruise ship and it started downpouring. We didn't have anything 
um, like an umbrella. So, you know, just a small travel umbrella would be good. You know, something light and, and small that you can bring with you. Um, but this here is just um, like a rain jacket. And so it kind of folds into itself, which is really nice. And this one's a nice bright color. You know, it has a hood. And so, you know, as you can see here, how big this is once I open it up. Um, that is just something that, you know, it's easy to pack, and if you don't need it, then great, but if you do need it, it's good to have. Something else I like to bring with me, um, especially if I'm traveling in the Caribbean and it's really hot out, is um, this here. I, I don't know where I got this from. I think I got it from QVC, but um, what you do with this is you wet it, and then you, like, snap it, and then it stays cool. So, um, I'll put it around my neck or something like that, you know, if we're out on an excursion or just walking around, even if you're on the ship, you know, out on deck and it's really hot out. This really does help a lot, um, you know, as long as you keep it wet and you just kind of wring it out and then um, you just kind of like snap it and it, it's supposed to stay cool. And sometimes you do have to snap it a couple times, you know, it's, if it is hot out and your skin is hot, it's going to kind of absorb some of that heat. But this is something that, again, it's very easy to pack and sometimes it can be a huge lifesaver. Now, talking about the cabin, um, it's good to bring magnets with you. So these magnets, uh, this is a hook. So what you can do with these is hang you know, your lanyard for your ship card. I've put my hat on here before. Sometimes uh, when we travel, we have like a robe or something. You can like throw the robe on it or just, just anything really at all. Even your bathing suits, if they're wet, you can hang them up. These are pretty um, strong magnets. And of course, your cruise ship, the walls are made out of metal. So they're magnetic. Not everyone knows that. This one here is like a little clip. You can, you know, maybe put the um, itinerary for the day or something like that. You know, if you have paperwork or something, you can kind of clip it there. So uh, magnets are definitely something good to get. You can get them on Amazon. But I also like to get um, like small magnets. So if you are traveling and you want to put some kind of decorations on your cruise door, now definitely check your cruise line because I believe Norwegian just banned... Um, you being able to do that, but as far as I know, uh, most other cruise lines do allow you to do that. So maybe you have some pictures or something you made yourself. So if you have just small magnets, a lot of times you get magnets in the mail, um, you know, advertising something so you can cut them up. Um, if you're a Disney pass holder, I would hate to cut up Mickey, but um, those those things they send you for pass holders, they are, you know, they're obviously magnets for your car. But if you're not going to use them that way, or if you have a whole bunch of them, maybe um, you can cut them up and you know, then glue them to a picture or something if you want to uh, stick those on your cruise cabin. A few other items I have here. Um, a lot of times the ships have parties. Sometimes it's like a white night party or it's a 70s dance party or something like that. And so sometimes they will throw um, into the crowd like these, uh, you know, little rings or whatever and they blink. So I did actually get one of those from one of the Royal Caribbean parties. But um, some things I actually have that sometimes I bring are, um, like these go into drinks and they change colors. So maybe you just kind of want to have a little bit more fun and be cooler than everybody else and have something that glows um, in your drink. And so um, another thing that I'm not showing you right now, but I always bring a little bit of uh, dish soap so I can clean, you know, if I'm using something like this, it's reusable. Or if I bring a cup with me, I can, I can clean it. But... Um, Typhoon Lagoon has their glow party, so if you ever go to that, they give you a uh, bracelet, and it, it kind of blinks and it glows, it does a couple different things, so um, I was able to get one of these at that glow party, so, you know, bring it on the ship with you, too, it's, it's a lot of fun, and also, I just went to see the Backstreet Boys, that was amazing, and I bought uh, one of these kind of glow stick things, it's not, not really a glow stick, but it, it blinks. But I do have some glow sticks that I get also, um, you know, ones that you can like put around your wrist that glow. Um, I get them from the dollar store. I do get like the regular glow sticks sometimes that um, I'll bring with me on the ship. But um, just stuff like this, I think it's a lot of fun, especially if the uh, cruise line is holding some kind of fun party, um, especially if it's like a glow party, then, you know, why not kind of bring your own accessories and, and then you're like the cool person. So another thing <clears throat> that might be a little weird and different 
Uh, now we're starting to get, well, let me show you this first, actually. I always recommend, and this may be not that weird, but I always recommend that when you are going on a cruise to pack something in your suitcase that's uh, like a small bag, or this one's kind of a big bag, but um, that you can put items in. Say if you bought something in port, or maybe you bought something on the ship and it doesn't fit in your suitcase, or sometimes I just find that you do such a good job in packing your suitcase to get on the ship, but when it's time to leave the ship, you kind of throw everything in. In, and then there's not room so I almost always uh, whether I purchase something or not I always end up kind of throwing stuff into you know like a kind of like a large tote bag type thing and that way you can just carry it off the ship or sometimes you know if you're gonna give the the crew your luggage the night before the ship ends they're gonna take all that stuff so you're gonna need something to you know bring like your last couple of items off the ship so this one um i showed you in my top 10 items that i bring one of the uh beauty um cases that i get from hsn joy mangano um is the brand and this actually came with that so make sure you check out my other video i'll link it down below um but this came with it and it actually folds up it has like snaps on it so it can be folded down pretty small but what i like about this is it has um inside of how great you can really see that um, but this pocket here is RFID um, protection so you know, it has a lot of pockets it's really hard to see so I'm not going to do that but um, you know if you're bringing your wallet with you or just stuff like that it does have the RFID protection and um, it's a pretty big bag so I'll actually use it for shore excursions and to put my towels in you know the towel that I just showed you I put it in this bag to carry around with me so um, I do recommend always having even if it's a small backpack that you know, kind of like folds up and you can unfold it, it becomes a backpack. Always have something to carry some of your stuff off the ship with. Now this next item you might already bring with you, but I think it has a couple different purposes that are worth mentioning. Um, these kind of toothpicks, or I think they're called placards. I always bring these and I keep them pretty much in everything I have with me because don't you just hate it when you have something in your teeth and you know trust me you're eating a lot on the cruise so um, I, I typically bring these in pretty much any little purse or handbag or just anything that I'm carrying with me I have one of these but one thing that I found it useful for recently is say you have a little jar of lotion or something and you don't want to dip your finger in there because that's gross well the on the end of this you know obviously if you haven't put that end in your mouth you can use that to just kind of like dip in your eye cream or whatever it might be um I have a little container of like a blush but it's like a like a gel blush and I, it's hard to put my finger in there so usually I'll just use something like this to kind of dip into it and then I can take it off and you know put it on my face or whatever I'm doing with it so not only does it do great with taking things out of your teeth but it also helps when you're trying to get stuff out of your lotions we usually get the drink package, so every morning we try to rehydrate and uh, make sure that we're feeling good for the next morning. I don't think we've ever had a hangover or anything like that, but uh, we use something called Zip Fizz, and you can get them on Amazon, and I've seen them on eBay. Uh, usually I get them locally. Sometimes they're like in the local stores, but um, they come in different flavors. I usually like the orange ones, but they're all, all kinds of different flavors, and they, they basically just um, are like an energy powder that you mix with water. Um, so usually if we're going to the buffet or we're going to, um, you know, breakfast, I'll bring, I always have a cup with me that I bring. I'll put some water and ice. I'll add some of this. You have to be careful because it, it, it is called Zip Fizz and it does kind of fizz and foam up. So um, you definitely want to not fill the water up too high. Otherwise, you're going to have um, like a volcano. <laughs> Um, but I do find these do help. They kind of just help rehydrate you and they have some vitamins and things like that in it. So um, I'm not a doctor, but just something uh, that I would recommend. Another thing too is that I don't have duct tape to show you, but I do have um, what I think, I think you pronounce it washi tape. I got this on Etsy. And so it's kind of like a sticky tape. It's not super sticky though. So a lot of times I'll, I'll put them on um, like a little container if I'm just trying to make sure it's it's extra secure or something like that. So I do bring um, these just for, for different purposes. Um, I've never brought the duct tape with me or a bungee cord, but that is something that you may not have thought of because what if your suitcase falls apart? Um, I have seen some people uh, have to literally tape their suitcase um, or use a bungee cord or something like that. Or sometimes the bungee cords, when you put them around your suitcase, you can kind of like hang stuff from it or, you know, something like that. So um, bring some kind of tape just in case. Now, some of the weirder things or things you really may not have thought of are going to be um, small plastic bags. So, of course, you can go to the store and buy Ziploc baggies, but I find that 
a lot of times just around the house you happen to have um, small Ziploc bags anywhere from the little Ziploc baggies that buttons come in or maybe you ordered something online and it comes in like a smaller plastic bag. I used to be part of the um, Sephora Play so like I have a lot of these kind of plastic um, you know plastic bags that that they come in but I have a lot of different sizes so I think a lot of times when I'm packing um, anything that might leak I'll just put it in a small plastic baggie it's just an extra precaution um, so I really do collect this whole thing is just full of little little plastic baggies that will last me probably my entire life uh, but it is something that um, you know I do appreciate that I do save them and I do recommend that maybe even bring some extras with you because you just never know if you're on an excursion and like you know something broke that you maybe you had like a piece of jewelry that broke and you just wanted to put it in something so I think they they do come in handy for a lot of different reasons now one of the last things I want to show you here it might seem weird but um, if you think you're gonna go on a cruise and maybe bring back a souvenir of some kind or maybe you're gonna buy alcohol on the ship or just anything at all that could be breakable uh, I do save and these are all different sizes and I think you know different things have come inside these and then I'll just take them on the cruise or sometimes it's just nice to maybe just put a layer in between your suitcase of different things you're packing but a lot of times I'll go to Mexico or different places and I see some really beautiful you know maybe even handmade pottery or um, you know just just things that are breakable that you're like hey I really want to bring those back for my my co-workers or just for me personally but they're probably gonna break right so I do I have started to bring these um, bubble wrap because even if you just buy sometimes we purchase alcohol on the ship um, you know if you ever have onboard credit and you don't know what to do with it just go to the the alcohol you know the the ship's uh, store and a lot of times they have sales on you know bottles of alcohol and stuff like that so um, when you're purchasing things that are breakable it is good to have something like this to put them in or sometimes sometimes some of the items I even bring with me I'll just just extra precaution I will put them uh, in the bubble wrap so those are uh, some of the items that I think that you may not have thought of so I wanted to uh, share that with you and hopefully some of those um, ideas or tips and tricks have helped you out is there something that that I didn't show you today that maybe you think that maybe I didn't think of or maybe our viewers have not thought of. So uh, make sure you tell me in the comments below um, something that maybe you bring and you know other people may not have thought of. So definitely give us some tips there. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jenners and I'm going to be making lots of videos like this. So again, make sure you are subscribed and you know ring that bell and all that good stuff. Uh, but until next time, happy cruising and we'll see you real soon.